Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question. What is policy-based management in SQL Server? Well, in SQL Server, um, this concept came in when you talk about the central monitoring or central deployment uh, of SQL servers. Let's say that you have a many SQL Server instance running and you have a central uh, uh, SQL Server that where you wanted to, if there are policies that you wanted to uh, apply to all the all the uh, servers and I'm going to show you in a second that where you create all those policies and facet and all that uh, but uh, just to give you a little bit of background that uh, policy management is a really slick feature you can use that to apply a certain policy to multiple SQL Server instances uh, as long as uh, you may have one central uh, SQL uh, deployment server and any uh, uh, your organization policy that you wanted to enforce on all the SQL Server instances you don't have to go uh, in each SQL Server and uh, uh, apply that policy. You can just use that central SQL Server uh, management server and you can apply it to the, all the instances that's connected uh, to that central management server or you can um, or that SQL Server instance can connect to those uh, uh, SQL Server other SQL Server instances from the central location so I'm gonna show you uh, real quick on SQL Server if you go on a server let's say that this is my um, my server that has a SQL Server instance installed and I'm using it as a central SQL Server which is connected to all other SQL servers uh, instances that's uh, in my organization so I'm going to go ahead and log in here and I'm gonna go um, fire up management studio I'm gonna go ahead and click run as administrator and I'm going to connect with the instance that I call it the central central uh, SQL server with other it can access other uh, uh, SQL server instances I'm just assuming that so you go to management and up here is a policy management now um, uh, you need to create a facet you need to create a condition whatever your condition is and then you need to create a policy when you create a policy then you can uh, select facet or you can select the condition uh, facet will require a condition and condition you can put it in policy and you can uh, uh, deploy that policy on multiple SQL Server instances so that's uh, that's how you uh, take advantage of uh, policy management in SQL Server and I hope it helps